So the next tool that I have for you is the check sheet. Check sheet is a very, very important tool that we have. Okay. Check sheet is kind of a form or a document which is used to collect data in real time at the location where the data is generated. The check sheet is sometimes called a tele sheet also. The check sheet is also one of the seven quality tools of quality. Okay. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this tool in detail and why, why check sheet is important and, and what are the places where we, where, where we can use a check sheet. Check sheet is sort of a document which is kind of a data tracking. Okay. Wherein, so wherein Whenever you are procuring any kind of services, when you're procuring any kind of goods, when you are uh, dealing with certain escalations, it's kind of a data collection. Okay. And when data is being collected at a regular intervals, you would be able to identify when there is certain, when there is a kind of a error or when there is a kind of discrepancy, you'd be able to look at day by day that when do we have that particular error. Okay. So if I take, if I take an example of, uh, managing an audit sheet, okay, wherein I'll be able to maintain an audit sheet that day by day, how many errors are, am, am I getting? What is that error type that I'm getting? Okay, although there could be a report where all the things can be fetched in a couple of minutes, but having a check sheet is always great because the report won't be able to capture a lot of information. Here you can have a lot of information on your own design in such a way that would be relevant for the relevant in the future also. Okay. So in this example, if you see in this example, if you see that there are certain defect types, okay, which is kind of a motor assembly check sheet. When you see that these check, these errors are not occurring on a daily basis, these errors are occurring on certain days of the week. If you take an example here, improper test procedure has never happened. Okay. Um, if I talk about voids in casting, this happened only on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday it has happened four times, Thursday it happened two times. So this gives me a kind of a decision making that I need to focus on only these two days. That why these two days these errors are coming. Okay. If I talk about spray failure, here I see that spray failure happens only on Tuesday, and that too five sort of five, six errors have come here. So therefore I would need to focus on that. Why spray failure has happened on Tuesday? Why not other days? What are the things that I can look at? What are the best practices? I can take it from the, the remaining days. Supplies parts unrusted. And I can see, I can see this is happening four times in a week. Okay. One day it is happening most of the time. So this gives me a kind of judgment a kind of, decision making that which are the days that I'll have to focus on. So this can also be used for, for IT processes. Okay. Wherein, wherein I can see that, that uh, on one particular day, majority of the tickets get locked. What are the tickets get locked? Different types of ticket and which days the, the maximum ticket gets locked. Okay. So for example, Monday, we get a lot of tickets on the laptops not working. Probably Friday, we get a lot of tickets on the network issues. So this gives me an indication that why we are getting these kind of issues. Okay. And with the help of that, we'll be able to resolve a lot of problems. Okay. So I would recommend uh, you to maintain check sheet for your respective processes to capture information, which cannot be fetched from the system. This gives you a certain sort of uh, sense check or health check of your process and would be able to make decisions in the later stage. Okay. So this is what check sheet is. Now I'm going to talk about the data stratification. Okay. So this is one of the seven QC tools. Now it's the, it's the eighth one and which is very important uh, uh, tool, which help us to prioritize or identify the different causes. Okay. Stratification is defined as the sort of sorting data, people and objects into distinct group audience. It's a technique used in combination with other data and analysis tools. When data from a variety of sources or categories have been lumped together, the meaning of the data can be very difficult to see. This data collection and analysis technique separates the data so that patterns can be seen and is considered one of the seven quality tools. So when to use stratification before collecting data, when data comes from several sources or conditions like shift, days, week, supplier, population groups, 
when data analysis may require separating different source of condition. Here are some of the examples that require to certify. So basically data stratification is to be done when you have the data already in place. Okay, so when you when you have a data like uh, when the report was captured, what is the team that is being involved? Who is the team leader? Who is the department? What is the product type? What time of the day the request was logged? What is the what time of the week the request was logged? Who is the manager of that particular unit? What is a branch name? What is a branch? So that is what is called data stratification. So that we have a lot of data wherein tomorrow, if I want to know that which particular shift is producing num maximum number of defects, which department is getting majority of errors or outages, that is something which I'll be able to derive out of it. Okay. And data stratification is used when I have a humongous sort of a data. And, and that data is not making any sort of sense. But with the data stratification, by applying uh, data stratification, I'll be able to look at all sort of pain point issues that I'll be focusing on. So we will do the hands-on of this uh, in just a while. Okay. So uh, now let's do the hands-on of uh, these quality tools that we talk.